As you can imagine, adding subtitles to a video manually can be a tough job. So you search on YouTube and find some recommendations. But which one is best? Here I am. Let me do the test job for you. I have made a demo. It contains changed human voices, vocal saying, and nonsense content. You know, this crazy stuff is prepared for the subtitle software's rough time. Let's see what the demo is like, and you will figure out what I mean. Today is Sunday. It's a sunny day. And I'm going to spend it as a holiday. Early in the morning, I pass my dog, and he says, Well, 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 well. I gave my cat a shower. He says, Meow, 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 meow. Oh, hey, dude, why do you look so crazy? Oh, yes, because today is my Black Friday. I buy this, I buy that, I buy the whole market. Why do I have so much money to spend? Because today is only a dream. So that's what I'm talking about. If the software can hold the knives, they are very likely to stab me, I guess. Okay, the first software to stab me, excuse me. The first software I'm going to test is Veed. So let's go and play. The first thing you need to do is go to its website, sign in and fill in some simple stuff. Then we see its dashboard. Here we click create project upload your video file. Here you can drag and drop. After the upload is done, find the subtitle icon on the left side. Select auto subtitle and choose the language spoken in the video. Click create subtitle. Then you can sit back and wait for the machine work for you. It takes a few moments. You will see the subtitles on the left side. For telling the truth, I'm excited because it will save my time. So this is the interface of the subtitle panel of Veed. Toolbar on the left side. Next to it is the content of the subtitle. Here you can modify the content, adjust the style of the content. Or you can add translation here if you need. The preview window is on the right side. And the timeline is underneath. The transcription accuracy is good but it just ignore my same part. What can I say? Maybe it's too crazy. When modifying the subtitle, you click a specific line, the timeline, and the scene goes where it refers to. That's a great feature. What impressed me most is the style function, which controls the subtitle appearance. You can choose one style you like. You can put it anywhere on the screen change its angle, and adjust how many lines it will appear. The animation subtitle is great. You can choose karaoke in its subsection. Then it goes like this. When the content was recognized by the machine, the animation will perform very well. Otherwise, it shows delay or on match. At last, you can click the Options tab and download this SRT file. Oh, it seems you must pay for it. Or you want the subtitles to be burned in. Also, we call it baking or hard coding. Just click export. I'd like to give 4 stars for its efficiency. For dragging the subtitle bars, it's not quite smooth, which bothers me a little bit. 5 stars for its accuracy and 5 stars for its specialty. Here I refer to the style of the appearance of the subtitle. But please be noted that when you want your subtitle to be animated, the content needs better to be comprehended by the machine. 
The next one to accept this challenge is Capoin. The beginning process is pretty much the same. So let's jump to its dashboard. Click create a new project, drag and drop, choose subtitles, click auto generate, choose language, wait a moment. Then we see the results. The accuracy is good, I think. When mentioning the interface compared with Vid, the style tab is on the right side. You can adjust the appearance of subtitles as you like, or you can modify a specific one over here. And Capoin ignores my scene too. Well, I just don't mind. Speaking of modifying the content, it's pretty handy, I think. After your job is done, you can click here to download the SRT file and it's not free for the free plan. Or go to the up right to choose export project. I will give five stars for its efficiency, four stars for its accuracy, and four stars for its specialty. So next is Descript. Descript needs you to install its software on your computer. So you go to its website to download the software and install it. After the installation, Choose to start a new project. Put your video file onto it. Select the language and click transcribe. Then you can check the content on this board. You may take some time to remove the errors. The biggest difference in the script between the former contestants is that you can't preview the subtitle in the preview window directly. But it has another approach to realize it. What you need to do is to select all the content, then click the plus sign, find a fancy caption and click it. Then you can preview your subtitles now. And in fact, I think fancy caption is a special function of this script. You can put multiple fancy captions on the timeline and drag it to decide how many contents it will cover. Adjust its appearance and it can also animate the subtitles. Before I say, wow, that's great, I find something embarrassing in the vocal singing part. That the audio and the text are not in sync. Once you modify the timeline of the text, it will engulf some content on the track or leave a gap there. I tried, but it seems that I can't fix it by myself. So I send a request and the script responds me with solutions. Move your mouse over a word boundary and press either command on Mac OS or control on Windows to display the trim tool and adjust the boundary right or left to your desired location. So let's try this. Yes, it works. Now it's perfect. Okay, when you want to export an SRT file or video, you can go to the share tab to deliver. I will give five stars for its efficiency, five stars for its transcription accuracy, and five stars for its specialty. The last software I'm going to test is Premiere Pro. It kind of surprised me. Premiere Pro was just a video editing software, wasn't it? But they tell me Premiere Pro 15.4 introduced speech to test an integrated and automated workflow for creating captions. So let's go and check it out. Go to Window, select Text Panel, then choose Transcribe Sequence, choose Language, click Transcribe. Then your video will be uploaded to the cloud and transcribed. Amazingly, Adobe Sensei transcribed the singing part. Although it's a mess, it consoles a lot. Besides the singing part, Adobe Sensei did a good job. You can fix the errors now or after create captions. And the style of the subtitles are edible too. Here you can search for specific content. When the video's duration is pretty long, this function can be useful. If you need its SRT file, you can go to the ellipsis of the captions panel and choose export to SRT file. To burn the subtitle in the video, just click the icon up right. I will give 5 stars for its efficiency, 5 stars for its accuracy, and 5 stars for its specialty. 
Now let's make a fair summary. All the software that has been tested today is handy. They are all powered by AI technology, and their working process is pretty much the same. And their transcription accuracy is good, or good enough. Here's the accuracy comparison of every software. Speaking of a special function, the animated subtitle of vid and the fancy caption of the script impressed me a lot. To some extent, they are pretty much the same feature. When mentioning pricing, if you are a video creator, strictly speaking, all of them are not free. Vid, to point, discreet. Their free plans have got time limitations. But if you are a Premiere Pro user, the great thing is that you don't have to pay extra money for the speech-to-test feature. And it is a built-in function. It can offer you a smooth workflow. That's pretty stunning. Besides, I just can't introduce too many details in this video. Hope you can understand. If you want to know more, comment below and let me know. Here I've made a form to summarize this video. If this video sorted your problem, please like and subscribe, please.